Hey guys, Dabu7, want to introduce you guys to Hanna. This is a company that makes different instruments that allows you to check for metals and things like fluoride that are in your waters. Now you're going to see a lot of testing from here on out coming from me with this device in regards to fluoride in water. Now this device is pretty simple to use. They send you with one bottle of the Regent, two vials, and a syringe, and instructions on how to use this. And it is wise to pick up a calibration kit, as I did right here, which in the calibration kit, it will give you two vials labeled A and B on top. You follow the directions. You start this up, and when you first start it up, it will look like this. You pop your vial into the top, you hit that button, and it will begin a countdown. A two minute countdown. When that countdown is over, it will say C2. You can then open this up, take it out, and then pop in the secondary vial, close it, and hit the button, and it will give you your reading. Now, when it comes to testing different waters, what you want to do is you want to take both your vials that you see here, and you're also going to need some distilled water. Now, they say that ionized water is what they prefer, but you can see here distilled water. Just picked it up at a dollar store. They say that it works just as good. The difference here is the deionized water has the ionized, the charged particles taken out of it. The distilled water just has the minerals taken out of it, and it's still good. It has a lot of clarity, and they say that you can use it as well. So if you're having trouble finding de deionized water, distilled water will work. I called them. They told me that, and I'm passing it on to you guys. Now, with the vials, when you're doing your samples, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, and you're going to fill each one with two milliliters of the region that you see here on the left. Then you're going to put your distilled water into one of them, say this one, and then your sample of one of these bottles of water or your home water in this one. You're going to follow the same process I just said before in sticking the first one with the distilled water into the device and letting it do the countdown. And when it's done, taking it out and putting your new sample, the one that you want to test, into this and hitting the button. And then it will give you a reading. Now this measures up to 2.0. And anything over that, it's not going to read. And if you have anything over that, you have big time problems. And that's what we're here to find out. We're here to find out exactly what the levels are in different waters. Anywhere I go, any city I walk into, this is what I'm looking to do, test the water. Now, I also picked up extra test kits here, a few boxes. That way I have plenty of, of testing stuff, plenty of regent uh, to pull off these tests. So from here on out, keep an eye out for videos in regards to the fluoride readings and the findings that I, that I get in these different cities. I'll continue to update with more information, and as people got questions, I'll try to help answer them. But this is a $50 item that comes in very handy. Add it to your arsenal. You'll be able to pick up on the fluoride levels. They also have different devices around the same size for the same price that test for a plethora of different stuff. So we're going to keep testing this stuff, looking into the lead, the different metals, the fluoride, and hopefully down the road can get my hands on a good rad detector and we can start testing everything, almost anything and everything that we possibly can when it comes to our water and other things. But I hope this video helps some of you guys in understanding how this device works. Keep an eye out for a following video as I test all these popular waters. To top it all off and the main reason I wanted to do all this as you can see, 
the home water here in this area is a 0.78, which is super high. That's how much fluoride they're putting in the local water around here. So I just showed the numbers in regards to all the bottled water and you seen where they sat with Fiji being 0.35 the highest but the water coming out of the faucets around here a 0.78 and this is a starting ground I'm going to continue to test everywhere I go and I'll continue to update with the results this is stuff people need to know this has been Dabu7 Peace.